Hello, big people, small people, boys and girls over the world. My name is TB Weez, and welcome to Frostbite Deadly Climate. Now, this is a game I found on Steam for free, and it's basically you're in a frozen wasteland of some sort. Or, well, basically a cold climate. I mean, I get, you probably should have gotten that uh, by the name alone. But this is a horror game, and there is more than just cold that you have to worry about in this game. So we're just gonna get in, we're gonna see exactly what we're dealing with. Five audio reels, saves, slow bodies, temperature decreases with less effects on stamina and accuracy, and enemies health and strength are weak. Three audio reels, moderate body temperature decrease with standard effects on stamina and accuracy, and enemies health and strength are average. So I've got a small amount of saves. So it's like Resident Evil. Like the old Resident Evil games. Or perhaps, maybe like uh, Alone in the Dark, where I've actually got the uh, save amulets on me, but I've got to like, find the others too. Inventory full, head to the storage locker. This is so Resident Evil. This is so Resident Evil. With the storage stuff. My name is Robert, and I'm an Arctic, Arctic biologist. I was tracking a polar bear for research until I ended up getting caught in a sudden snowstorm. I'm, no, I'm now lost in what's worse night has begun to fall. Out of sheer luck, I stumbled across a small hut and immediately took shelter in it. However, the hut has no power, and without it, I'll surely freeze to death. I need to figure out how I'm going to escape this predicament. Alright, how to play. Okay, controls. Waz. Look, move, interact. Use weapon. Cycle weapons. Okay. Good use consumable. One health to keep the energy. Space of inventory. See his crouch. Okay. Got it. I got it. There you go, temperature. Okay, well. What's the prologue? Oh, I already got that. Oh, right in, huh? Oh, that's an audio reel. Just my luck. Did I walk under a ladder or something? Within just a few days of working at base 76. 75. I ended up breaking my portable tape recorder. Luckily, the base had a spare tape recorder for me to use, but out of bad luck, it turns out to be an old, heavy reel to reel tape recorder. It's bad enough that my place of work is this hut and not a proper observatory, but now if I want to record any of my progress, I'll have to make trips to the storage A room. Well, honestly, I'd rather do that than writing another one of these notes. Alright, well, that's ID card, Base 75, employee Murphy Patterson, meteorologist, ID number 7702, will be. Alright, got a heat drink, got a map, Base 75. Well, it looks like this hut is part of a much larger base close by. Ah, oh, I didn't get the link. Get to read. Oops. No power, of course. Yeah, okay. Do I need any of these? Are these important? I don't know if these are important. What is this? Gun locker. Oh, is that like a. Hmm? I need a code. Okay. So where am I gonna get a code at? Can't open that. Alright. So I guess I gotta go find a code somewhere. Wherever that would be. First off. Heat drink. A spicy drink that'll warm your body. I think it's two to do stuff like that. Better close the door if I want to keep the heat in. Well, uh, yeah, I think I need to go out there. It's 
windy. Ow. Stuttering is annoying. Ow. Oh god, what happened here? Oh, that's not nice. I don't like that. I don't like that there's a dead body over there. So I'm just gonna stay in here. What do we got? Until we regain radio communication, I'll write this report down. A12. Report that during the snowstorm, our generator retained some damage. We are still able to use the generator, but we must ration our power, or we may risk overheating the generator. Well, I've got to do that right now, don't I? It's useless without the power. Okay. City guard. I've got room D. Yeah. During one of our routine runs, we found an undiscovered type organism under the ice. We should like to mention that despite being frozen, the organism still shows signs of life. Due to this rare phenomenon, some of the staff request that they can take this opportunity for more, for more study. After much debate and compromises, HQ has granted us permission to study the organism, but we have only till 9-2. So have someone pick up their organism during our next scheduled shipment of supplies. 8-9. HQ has reported to us that we might be expecting some heavy snowstorms within the next couple of days. So they'll be expecting we might not be making some routine reports for a while. Alright. I got gunpowder. What do I need gunpowder for exactly? All right. Okay. Oh, I I'm cold. It seems I am getting cold. I'll be taking that. Give it. I got me a hatchet. It's locked. I be holding that? That's locked. I think I need to use this just yet. Storage. Even here it's freezing. Can stay here too long. Maybe we can find a vehicle in garage. Oh, wait. Is that important to me? Chemical fluid. That's nice. It's a save system. To record my progress. Do I want to do that just yet? I don't know if I want to do that just yet. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I successfully recorded my current progress. I need another one. I need another audio reel. Storage locker. I don't really need that right now. Health drink. Nice. Okay. I don't need to worry about, uh, oh, that much. What is that? Always locked. Especially freezing in here. What the heck? What's this? Energy drink. Nice. I'll take that. Anything else in here? No? Maybe? Wait, what's this? Revolver ammo. I don't have a gun though. What do you expect me to do? I should go to that one room. Alright, stay in here. I think it's actually warm in here. Right? Isn't it warm in here? I thought it was. Apparently not. Oh, I left the door open. 
I shouldn't have let the door open. Okay, well, I can use I'll drink. There we go. Or uh that heat drink. Alright. We got me some heat. That's locked. Okay, so how do I how do I equip my hatchet? Oh. No, don't discard any of these. Okay, so we got my hatchet out. Do I need to like break these open? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. I got you. Bathroom. Spicy stuff. Didn't actually read that, but I got some. Anything else in here? Rumiki. Hello? Nothing! Good. That's good, I'm glad. No? Nothing! Here? Nothing. Oh. Lockpick. Gotta look lockpick apparently. Okay, room D. Room D is unlocked. Alright. Nice. Frost is already forming on the jacket. Well, that's not good. Boots. Basketball. Nice. I can't really tell. It's hard to it's hard to tell the colors way too faded on that. Hmm. All right. Nothing else in here, I don't think. That doesn't look like it. Alcohol. Can I take that. That will keep me warm, right? Apparently not. Room B. How's everybody doing in room B? I've got a revolver. That's nice. That is. I always thought James was a caring and smart lad. But I guess once the shit hit the fan, his true intelligence and selfishness was revealed. After our meeting about either a possible evacuation or a quarantine, James decided every man for himself. He took both keys to the snow cats and tried to use one of them to escape. Of course, he needed to bring power back to the garage door, so he brought power to all sections of the, of the base, leaving the generator to overheat. Luckily, the power cable burnt out, and a few fuse blew before the generator could. Karma got to him, however, and he crashed the snow cat just a few feet from the base while the garage door was closed. So he got locked out. As of now, he hasn't made his way back to the base, so either he is terrified to confirm. I think it's supposed- I think they're trying to spell either, but there's no I. Either he is terrified to confront us, or the worst has happened to him. Whatever the case, we want, we want to use the snowcap to escape. We must retrieve those keys. Hello, Ethan. Thing in here. What's that? What is that? Is that important? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can get to it. Well. Rumi! Okay. Gotta check things quick. What's this? Nigel! What's up? What's up, Nigel? You got a guitar. What is that? Paper! 
Can I have that? I can't read that, I guess. Got a lab A. If anyone finds this note, I didn't make it out of this. I want you to know that I didn't go down without a fight. We discovered a parasitic organism under the ice and brought it back to our base for studying. However, despite our best efforts to contain it, the organism somehow was able to infect most of the staff, turning them into monsters. I can't tell you much about these things other than they appear to lack much intelligence. They can sense your body temperature. They can't see or hear you. The warmer you are, the easier it is for them to detect you, even if, even if you're in another room. If you want to be invisible to these things, you better take the risk of hypothermia. Wow, that's some, uh... That's something you decided to tell me. I guess, uh... No. Oh, we don't. But I'm, I just got the key, didn't I? I just got a key. Didn't I get a key to room A? Or maybe it was lab A. What's this? Lockers. We understand that having to share a bedroom with another member as well as a co-ed bathroom does remove a level of privacy you were probably used to. While it's impossible under the circumstances to give you more privacy, we have provided you a set of loggers. Any personal items that you are uncomfortable leaving in your cooperative bedroom can be placed in these loggers for safekeeping. Take note that you'll be provided with a padlock and key for your locker, but you'll not be provided with any spares, so be sure not to use the locker key. The lab are down here, right? No? Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Wait, lab A is right here. Uh oh, I don't have a... I don't have any... I don't have any health... I don't have any heat drinks. I don't... I, I can't read that right now. I need help. I need, uh, heat. Heat drinks. I'm like, about to die. Oh no. Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing so hot. I'm not doing so hot, guys. Not doing so hot. I'm gonna die. Spicy, spicy. Is there a thing I can use? Oh, I can... Okay, uh... There we go. Okay. That worked. That worked. Alright, well, I used that. Probably shouldn't have. But I did. Whatever. Hold up. What is that? Oh, I found those. Don't do that. Okay. Just give me. Ooh, a heat drink. Yes. A big yes. Nothing? Come on. Give me something good. Ooh. Chem fluid. I'll take it. Right. So I'll read this now. Research of the organism has shown both fascinating and unnerving results. Therefore, we are currently giving the organism the codename C34. Or from what the rest of the staff likes to call it, the Ice Devil. One noticeable thing suggests that this organism has odd behavior towards heat. When we introduced it to some living tissue samples, the organism lacked interest in them, until the samples began to get closer to the room temperature. Once that happened, to the organism latched onto the sample and began to alter its temperature to become cold. This seems to suggest that the organism needs to be cold to survive and will change the organisms that it infects, infects to fit its needs. We can conclude that, that the C34 shares certain similarities to a parasite such as requiring the host to be alive. When we attempted to kill off the sample, the reaction occurred wherein both the sample and the organism began to rapidly dissolve away. We were lucky enough to collect some of what remained before it completely dissolved and gave it to Susan in Lab B to examine this. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's creepy. But okay. Learn something. Learn something new and creepy. There's nothing else. God. Okay. Time to go. What is that? Oh, that's the thingy! That's the thing! Oh, it's a thing. I didn't know that thing was already coming for me. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I should just go. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm to go. Nope. Okay. All right. Ooh. Hunker down here. Not liking that. Wasn't liking that. Not at all. Didn't like that. Nope. Is it out there? I don't know if it's out there or not. Hello? Let's go this way. It's over here. I can't go this way. this. If I decide to go out here. Is this a bad idea? Probably shouldn't be wandering out here. Okay, I'm Somewhere. Hey, sex and switches. Uh, how do I get it working then? Use a fuse, electric cable, and some motor oil. Great, I've got fine stuff. Oh man, okay. Here we go. It's over here. That's just frozen over. Break it. That'd take hours to break, okay. Alright. But I just heal myself. And go in. Then the monster won't be able to see me. Right? Yes? I'm cold! can't see me if I'm cold. Hey, you're right there. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, excuse me. How do you notice me? I'm cold. 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 Uh oh. Hmm. And I just... Go outside. Uh oh. Hey! Screw! Get away. No. Oh. What happened to the dogs? Uh oh. Hey, doggy. What's that? I don't know what that is. It's a lockpick. What that is. Hey, doggy. You okay? Poor thing. I know, indeed. I don't like that. It's dead. I don't like dead dogs. Dead dogs is not fun. What's in here? There's no cat. I can use it to escape this place. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, man, these things are everywhere. How do I kill them? Oh, take that. Why can't I grab that? Oh, no. Ah, take things. Revolver. You know what? A revolver might be handy in this situation. Uh oh, I'm dead. I was killed. Oh no. Oh man, 
Crappy, crap, crap. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. If you guys want me to play more of this, say so in the comments below. It's not a bad game. Not bad at all. I actually kind of like it. It's uh, sort of, uh, it was sort of leading with kind of a Resident Evil type of vibe, you know, with the storage lockers and how you only have like a limited, limited saves and stuff like that. So, honestly, not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, but they, they uh, like, add that little uh, cold survival type skill into it type of stuff. So, it's literally a survival horror game. Just like, you know, the forest and stuff like that. But this takes place in an actual cold climate, and you, uh, you know, have to stay warm and survive. And they also put monsters and stuff like that, and the monsters are actually a really good threat in this game, and I like that. But, uh, actually, I really don't have any issues with this game, so I like where, the, where this is going, and it's actually really good for a free game. You can uh, get this on Steam for free and try it out for yourself. If you guys want me to continue this, say so in the comments. If you guys liked it, press that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel, it's been TV Wheeze. I'm out.